Duncan, who just released a new truck and it just killed the competition. And we're not only talking about the EV market. We all know that the market is getting fiercer recently, with more and more companies joining every year with new and improved models. But Canoe is ready to deliver something unique that will destroy their rivals. They just made a truck for the common man, with practicality at its core concept and a design that just makes sense. On top of that, it's affordable and it doesn't compromise on quality or performance. And this is how it'll disrupt the industry. This truck is nothing short of amazing. It's designed to suit any kind of lifestyle you can imagine. You may wonder why this truck hasn't received much hype from the mainstream media. The EV market is facing a lot of challenges. So many people would shy away from a new player. But we're here to tell you why you shouldn't. But before we get into that, let's talk about who Canoe is, the company behind this truck. In 2017, a group of innovators came together with one mission to create EVs that are truly practical. This may sound like a common goal that every manufacturer claims to want to achieve. So the real question is, what makes the Canoe pickup stand out? And how do they intend to deliver on their promise? The answer is simple. They're keeping it simple. That's their plan. It doesn't get more clear cut than that. The secret to practicality is us. If it doesn't work for us, it's useless. It's not practical. And Canoe understands that. We've all been there, wanting to put something in our truck that really mattered to us, but we couldn't because it just wouldn't fit, and the manufacturers don't make them for that purpose specifically. Your typical truck is not built to be adaptable and easy to customize. If you try to do that, you'll end up ruining your truck, and who would want that? But with the Canoe truck, we can have it all and more. Don't just take our word for it though. Check out this truck and see if you could ask for anything more than what it has to offer. Let's start with the mileage. We all feel the pain of the EV struggle, right? Battery life. Who has time to sit around and wait for a charge when you could grab a gas hog for less? That's crazy to even think about. But Canoe crushed it with an incredible 500 miles on a single charge. And get this, there are two charging options, a 7 kilowatt home charger and a supercharged 150 kilowatt fast charging station. This is awesome and smart. We're not going to lie, we're impressed, but we're not alone. The US Army are too, and they've joined forces to put their beefed up electric pickup truck to the ultimate challenge, the light tactical vehicle. And this monster is loaded with all the essentials and some seriously mind-blowing features. It's built with carbon Kevlar for maximum defense, a suspension that handles any terrain like a pro, and tires that can go anywhere. It's the ultimate in adaptability and toughness. Right now, Tesla is the undisputed market leader, at least here in the US, and Canoe knows this. So they've smartly teamed up with Tesla, forming a powerful alliance that grants exclusive access to Tesla's supercharger stations for Canoe drivers, giving Canoe owners unparalleled convenience. While all eyes are fixated on the big players like Ford, Chevrolet, and even Tesla with its Cybertruck sensation, Canoe's been quietly plotting its next move like a master chess player. And this is just the beginning. We are barely scratching the surface here. They've got something up their sleeves, biding their time for that epic moment to reveal their game changer. And mark my words, it's going to send shockwaves through the EV industry, putting many competitors in checkmate. So watch carefully, because we're about to dive deep into how they're pulling this off. The rear-wheel drive model packs around 300 horsepower, and sure, it might not be top in the charts in terms of raw power, but let me tell you, it's no slouch either. This bad boy packs a serious punch and is ready to tackle your daily grind while also serving up some seriously thrilling rides. Trust me, you won't be left wanting for more. But if you're a bit of a power junkie, Buckle up because this machine can unleash a mind-blowing 600 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque in the dual-motor all-wheel drive setup. The only thing that's got us scratching our heads about this truck is how long it'll last. You see, Canoe is the new kid on the block, and we've got a soft spot for pickups. They're the workhorses of the road, tough as nails, while also being undeniably cool. But that worry disappears when you realize Canoe has already lined up orders with heavy hitters like Walmart, NASA, Zebra, and King Bee. 
These guys aren't just after any ride. They want the same reliability we all crave. And get this, even the US Army has jumped on board, snagging a fleet for themselves. I mean, if it's tough enough for the military, what more could you ask for in terms of durability and capability? And honestly, look at the competition. Each contender owes its presence to the weight of its brand name. Now imagine what the Maverick could be without that Ford logo. Would you be drawn to the new Maverick if it emerged from an obscure new brand? It's undeniable that being a Ford truck carries weight. With a legacy dating back ages, Ford has etched its name into the very fabric of truck manufacturing. Plus, even giant names like Ford aren't immune to blunders that would be deemed unforgivable by a fledgling brand. But Canoe has got its finger on the pulse of its branding strategy. Canoe grasped the importance of establishing their brand identity from the get-go. It's evident in their strategic partnerships with industry heavyweights. And this truck they're rolling out is making the competition hang their heads with embarrassment. When most EV manufacturers want to just make cool-looking EVs, the underdog is giving us what we want. But now watch carefully, because before we rev up too much, there's a crucial point we need to address. This thing is ready to take on the big players in the game, and we're not just referring to the electric ones. And sure, a gasoline-powered truck might seem like the logical choice for many, and I've been saying that too. But let's consider the V8 engine for a moment. It's one of the fiercest engines around, tipping the scales at a hefty 600 plus pounds, and that is the problem. The canoe has a beast, and it's compact, clocking in at less than 200 pounds, but packing a punch with 300 horsepower and nearly 300 pound feet of torque. And get this, you can fit two of these powerhouses side by side. Now, that's some serious muscle in a surprisingly compact package. This beast packs a 4x6 foot bed, but with an extension that stretches it to a whopping 8 feet, putting it toe to toe with the Maverick and boasting a shorter wheelbase to boot. And while many stick to the same old playbook, churning out designs akin to the classic, barely tweaked, template looking trucks like the F 150 from Ford, Canoe flips the script entirely. They're rewriting the rules from scratch, crafting a truck that's all about efficiency, down to the last inch. No more outdated fluff. This is pure future tech on wheels. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a reason those traditional designs have a following. They're familiar, and they get the job done. But when we talk about Canoe, we're talking about practical innovation. This ain't your run-of-the-mill minimalist EV truck. Imagine cruising on a sleek unibody platform, smooth as butter from the cab right through to the bed. No funky gaps to be found anywhere. It's all about that seamless integration. From the steering wheel to the seats to every little body panel, Canoe's left no stone unturned. And let me tell you, those wire steering and brake systems, they're not just for show, they're all about maximizing space. Forget about steering columns, shock towers and struts, they've been tossed aside. This truck fully embraces the drive-by-wire and brake-by-wire concepts, ditching a whopping 35% of the usual parts for a mean, clean machine. And the payoff? Well, let's just say you'll be cruising in a spacious interior that feels like a compact pickup but hauls like a heavyweight champ. And guess what? This truck isn't just made for one owner. It's designed to last through generations. The CEO himself vouched for it. The canoe truck is modular, meaning you can shapeshift it into a rolling workbench or throw on a camper shell for those adventure-packed weekends. And the inside is all about customization. Every inch is tailored to your needs. Charge your tools while you're on the move and forget about battery worries. A quick 28-minute juice-up per day keeps you rolling. And getting in and out is pretty easy since there's more spacious front area and bespoke seating. Plus, the battery pack is as useful as it gets. It's yours to upgrade, swap out or fix up, no strings attached. Drive it all day and still roll home with 35-40% to power for a speedy top-up. But hold on, there's even more. The truck bed is totally customizable too. Now, let's talk about the big issue on everyone's mind. It is clear that Canoe isn't just bringing a new truck to the table, they're setting a whole new standard. And guess what? The price won't make your wallet run for the hills, starting at just $35,000. And let's be honest, this electric powerhouse leaves its competitors in the dust. 
boasting nearly double the mileage of the Ford F-150 Lightning. The Tesla Cybertruck may seem like a worthy rival, but even that is going through a lot of challenges, and honestly, it looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie with minimal practicality. The canoe is a true showstopper with its sleek contours and futuristic aura. But hey, beauty is subjective, right? What truly matters here are the nitty-gritty details, the features and functionality that sets this beast apart. And let me tell you, the canoe truck doesn't just have the looks, it's got the brains too, all without emptying your wallet. Now, I'm curious, what's your take on it? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. The EV market is changing and there are lots of things the market needs to sort out. It's getting really volatile and even Tesla has just lost the top spot. But if you want to know more, then check out our channel because we've already made videos on it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.